Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will see the two sum problem which is from lead code number 1 and we will see this problem using three techniques. This is one of the most asked question from lead code in the interviews. Before looking at the problem statement, I would like to announce about the interview dose course which is a live DSA training program. You can crack your dream job using this program. If you want to prepare in a short period then you can WhatsApp and get the details about the course. Let us now have a look at the problem. In this problem, given an array of integer nums and an integer target, return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. So let's look at some examples in order to get a better understanding. In this case, given an array of four elements, we are required to find a pair of elements so that the sum of it is equals to the given target. And there are certain constraints associated with the problem. The first constraint is find a pair from an array with sum equals to the target. Now the second one is do not reuse the element. Then there is exactly one solution. You do not have more than one solution. And we should return the index of the pair as an answer. Now in this case you will see that there is only one pair, this 2 comma 7, where the sum of the element 2 and 7 will be equals to the target which is 9. And so we will return as an answer 0 comma 1 which are the corresponding indices of 2 comma 7. And the indices can be in any order. Like if we return 0 comma 1 it's correct or we can also return 1 comma 0. We can return the answer in any order. I hope you got the problem statement. Now we will discuss three different techniques for solving this. The simplest one will be by using the brute force approach where we try out all possible pairs. Now if you think about an array of size n, the total number of pairs will be order of n square. You can see that here you have four elements. Now how many pairs do you have by taking the first element? So let's take the first element with a variable i. Now it can form pair with all the rest of the elements. Right, so you can take the rest of the elements using j. So the first pair will be i comma j, which will be 9 comma 8. And the sum of it will be uh, greater than target. Now you try out the next element by moving j to the next element and the next pair will be 9 plus 3, which is again not equals to target. You try out the next element 9 plus 7, again not equals to target. You tried out all possible combinations starting with i. So the next thing we do is we try out all possible combination starting with the next element which is this 8. Now if you pick this 8 as i, now we should always try the right hand side elements and we should not try the left hand side element because if you try to pick this as j then it will form a pair 8 comma 9 but 9 comma 8 was already tried right. So if we go to the left of i that pair might already have been picked previously. So in order to try to pick the new pairs, we should always place j to the right of i. Okay, you can try out some examples and you will get it. Now in this case 8 plus 3 is again greater than uh, this 10. 8 plus 7 is also greater, they are not equal. So again this didn't work out for us. We should try out the next one. So I will go to the next element. And now we will try out for the rest of the right hand side elements. And so you will see that 3 plus 7 is equals to 10 and this has worked. So the answer will be 2 comma 3 or you can also return 3 comma 2. The indices can be in any order. It doesn't matter but it should be like a set. So this is the answer which is 2 comma 3. And the time complexity of this will be order of n square. Because for the first element you will have approx n minus 1 pairs for the second element if you see only the right hand side element you will have n minus 2 pairs and so on for the second last element you will have 1 pair so if you add them up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on till n minus 1 you will have the sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers which will be n minus 1 into n by 2 which will again be order of n square so this is how we calculate the time complexity for the brute force solution. Let's look at a better solution. Now the better solution is by using the two pointer technique. 
now if you know the two pointer technique you must be knowing that it can be applied if the array is sorted so that we can decide which pointer to move in two pointer technique we will take a left pointer and a right pointer now you will see that given an array i am taking the same array and the same target if you want to uh, use two pointer we have to sort it now since we want to return the index pair as an answer so we cannot blindly sort the values but we should also keep track of the corresponding indices and if you want to do that then we will construct a different array which will be containing the value comma the corresponding index of the value so if you see the original array it is containing 9 comma 0 now if you are taking a new array then if you are making a pair of elements then you can take 9 to be 9 comma 0 why 9 is the value and 0 is its corresponding index similarly you can take 8 comma 1 3 comma 2 and 7 comma 3 now if you sort it based on the value which is the first of the pair then you will get a sorted array right sorted array based on value and now on this array you will have to apply the two pointer technique so you take the left here and the right on the right hand side and you see 3 plus 9 it is equals to 12 now 12 is greater than your target which is 10 now since 12 is greater 12 has to be minimized it has to be lowered right now you already know that the right pointer always points to the higher element and the left pointer points to the lower element so if we move right to the left hand side then it will decrease the sum value of the pair and if we move the left to the right hand side then it will increase the sum value of the pair i hope you understand that so in this case since we want to lower the sum value i will be moving the right pointer one time to the left and let's now check it again so the new uh, sum value will be 3 plus 8 which will be 11 now 11 is again greater than 10 so again we want to lower this current sum value and so i will again move the right pointer to the left and if i do that then the sum at l and the sum at r i mean the value at l and value at r will be added and this will be 3 plus 7 which will be 10 now 10 is equals to 10 and this is where we have seen our target and so the corresponding indices 2 comma 3 will be returned as a pair in our answer so this technique will take this step takes order of n because we want to parse this entire array once in order to make a new array and then after this we are sorting the array and you know that the sorting algorithm is n log n and after that we are parsing this array using the two pointer technique and so we will be seeing each element only one time and this is also order of n so the overall time complexity will be n plus n log n plus n which will be equivalent to your order of n log n because this is of the higher order polynomial as compared to the others so the time complexity here will be n log n which is far better than your n square time complexity right now i hope you also understood why did i make a pair because if you simply sort this then you will get an array something like this 3 7 8 9 but the corresponding indices will be 0 1 2 3 and these are not the correct indices for 3 the index should have been 2 and not 0 the index which is returned is always corresponding to the original unsorted array right so that's why in order to maintain these indices we had to take a pair of element in the array now the space complexity for this uh, explanation is order of n okay so let's now look at a better solution the best solution can be by using a hash map now if we use a hash map you know that uh, from the previous two pointer technique we know that we, we have to preserve the index along with the value so a hash map provides a key value pair now the key will be taken as an array element and its corresponding index will be stored in the value part of the map so if we do that and uh, keep on finding the elements i mean keep on finding the pair of element which is equals to the target then we will achieve our result as well so let's see a dry run of that let's say this is the first element now this element let's say this is x this is element x okay now if we see this element then if we can find another element which is target minus x if target minus x is present in our map 
then we have actually found the pair of element right because a pair of element x and y if x and y is a pair whose sum will be equals to target if this is what we want to achieve then if we are seeing the current element and let's say we are including this element in our pair and we are uh, saying that this element is x then we want to find an element y where we want to find if we have seen any y where the value of y must be target minus x this is just simple mathematics right so you check here is there any value which is 10 minus 9 in the map is there any value here the map is totally empty so it is not present right now before moving on to the next element we should insert this 9 in our uh, map and should uh, update its corresponding index which is 0 now let's move on to the next element so this is our new x value which is 8 now again find if 10 minus 8 which is target minus x is present in the map is to present in the map no it is not present so we have not yet found the pair so let's insert this 8 into the map with an index 1 and let's move on to the next element so this is our new x value which is 3 now again search for 10 minus 3 which is target minus x in the map is 7 present in the map no 7 is not present so we have not yet found the pair so let's insert this 3 with an index 2 and let's move on to the next element which is 7 now if the new x is 7 so we want to find target minus x which is equals to 3 is 3 present in the map you can see that yes 3 is present in the map so we can immediately return from this point as the corresponding index of uh, 7 which is 3 comma this value 2 this can be considered as a pair in our answer which is giving the two sum right so this is how we can solve this problem and the time complexity of this entire process will be order of n assuming that the insertion time in a hash map is order of 1 so the overall time complexity will be order of n because we are iterating through this entire array only once right and we are uh, doing one search and one insert operation so we are assuming that the search and insert operation on a hash map is order of one now there is a little trick involved in this third uh, problem some people might think in the other way around so you should not push all the array elements in the map initially that might cause a problem like let's take an example in example 1 you will see that you have elements 378 which is 0 1 2 and let's say the target is 6 now if you have pushed all the elements initially into the map you will see that 3 will have index 0 7 will have index 1 and 8 will have index 2 now if we start iterating from left to right let's say this is x now if we have taken this as x then we would like to find something target minus x which is 6 minus 3 equals to 3 into the map you will see that 3 is already present in the map right so we might return 0 comma 0 as an answer right but this will be wrong because this 3 uh, you will see that this 3 was already the same element right so in this case even though the answer is false we might return a wrong answer as true so we should be extremely careful about this situation let's take the second example let's say that we have 337 and if we have inserted all these elements into the map then you will see that this 3 with an index 0 will initially be inserted and it will be overwritten by another 3 because this has index 1 and it comes later so it will override the value and then comes 7 comma 2 now if you again uh, start parsing from left to right then you will see that this is x which is 3 and you would want to find 6 minus 3 and which is already present and you might want to skip this after having seen the uh, previous error so you should be careful in these cases these are some of the special cases which you should be aware about and uh, you should try to use this technique right i hope you understood the entire solution let's now look at the code this is a very simple code for the two sum solution using the third technique which is by using the hash map where we are given all the elements into the nums array and we have a target to be achieved now i have taken a hash map which is my map and then i will be iterating through all the elements one by one and while iterating itself i will assume that nums at i is actually our x in the explanation 
and so if this is x then i would want to find target minus x which is equals to target minus num set i and if target minus x is already present in the map then i will return the pair as the current index is i and the index of the target minus num set i will be uh, given by the map right the value of the map so my map at target minus num set i as well as the current index i now in this way i can find the pair and if the current element doesn't contribute to a pair of all the previously seen elements then this current element will be inserted into the map as a value comma index pair right and after iterating through all the elements if we do not find any answer then this case will hit where i will return an empty pair as an empty list but according to the question since exactly one solution exists so this line should never hit okay so this is the entire solution i hope you enjoyed the problem if you are serious about doing a job switch in a quick amount of time then you should consider joining the live training program where you will be guided on solving the minimum number of problems in order to maximize your job offers if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you